Hello and welcome to Module 2 of MFA 608. I will be speaking fairly slowly because we will be using the closed captioning ability on YouTube to be able to transcribe what I am saying. So for those of you watching the video and listening to my voice, please try to stay awake. Okay, let's get right to it. Let's start with the learning objectives for Module 2. For this module, we are going to, as a group, create the rules for critiquing others' work. There is a cool assignment we will be doing together where, we're going to, where we are going to establish the rules for critiquing. And then we're going to apply these rules in a narrative work, which we will work on together. And I will explain how that works in a few minutes. And then we will also examine the resources on giving and receiving feedback to support editing and coaching. Those are the learning objectives. Moving on, the module overview. Again, I'm going to let you read through this on your own. Although there is one very important thing that was brought up, the concept of sensitivity readers and beta readers. I think this is an important concept because often when writers, especially those who are new, when they are writing dealing with cultures or genders or those of different sexual orientations, they may not have a full grasp and so they will write those characters as one-dimensional or as caricatures or as stereotypes. So it is a good idea to have someone else read that to make sure that we are not falling into that trap. Moving on. At a glance, we will review the module resources, which will help you complete and submit the activity for this module. We will do the discussion activity, rules for critique, and then we'll participate in the class resource discussion. In addition, there is a separate lesson which I will post. It will be under announcements. It'll be after this post. It is a video that I created that deals with the importance of revision. It is optional. It is a fun video that students seem to enjoy and I use it in almost all my classes. So an additional lesson will be found under announcements and it deals with the importance of revision. But let's move on. Here are the reading and resources for module two. We discussed how to access this textbook in the last module. For this week, or this module, we'll be doing part two. Again, there's some excellent resources, how to build a writing group in your community, and what is a beta reader, and where do I find one? I made sure all of these links work. Again, you will review these, and what you put into this class is what you will get out of this class. Before you get started, Again, make sure you have reviewed the required resources. That was on the previous page. Pay special attention to your instructor's announcements this week for additional resources. As I recently mentioned, there will be another announcement or lesson dealing on the importance of revision. It is not a long video, but it is an enjoyable video, and it really drives home the point of the importance of revision. This video will spend most of its time focusing on this activity because it's a little tricky on the outside, but once we break it down, it's really not too bad. All right, so the activity is actually ac accessed by clicking on this link right here. And I've already pulled that up. Okay, this is the module two discussion activity, rubric and the rules. Basically, what we're going to do is as a group, as a class, we are going to come up with a set of rules that we will be using as far as critiquing. As a class, you will create rules 
for critiquing creative works and then use these rules as a group. Okay, this assignment has two parts. The first part is, well, creating the rules. We will explain that in just a second. The second part is we will actually be critiquing as a class a sample work which has already been written for us and we'll get to that. So let's go ahead and start with part one. As a group we will come up with rules for critiquing which you will create from the course resources and from your own research. So remember those readings and resources a few slides back that's where you're going to get your ideas. The goal is that you contribute a rule to the list without duplicating rules posted by your peers. That means the early bird gets the worm. If you have a great rule and someone's used it first, then you need to come up with another one. Feel free to discuss and suggest edits to others' rules. Okay. Note, you need to complete this step by Thursday. We have to establish the rules by Thursday because we're going to need the rules to do part two. Well, where do we put these rules? So, for this one right here, normally we would start a new thread, but please note, please post all elements to this thread. Do not, do not, do not, do not start a new thread. Click on this right here. For this assignment, please do not create a new thread for your entry. Instead, please post a response to this thread. It will help everyone in this class navigate the discussion easier. This way, when you're going to post a new post, hit reply to thread. This way we'll have one gigantic discussion instead of having to click on multiple discussions to read things. So please do not do not create your own thread. Do not create your own thread. You're going to post them all as, again, reply to thread. That's where you're going to create it. So first step would be reply to thread. And then you would say, you know, this is the rule I propose. And then you would say whatever rule it is for critiquing. Okay. And then people can again reply to the original post with their rules and then you can reply to other people's posts if you have recommendations or suggestions. Okay, let's go back. Once we have posted the rules and agreed upon the rules, we are then going to come together as a writers group and using the module to sample writing document provided, we were then going to create some feedback on this document. This document, when you click on this link right here, it brings up this assignment or this ramp, this writing sample. You will read through this and using the rules that we created, not just your own rule, but all the rules we created, you will go ahead and read and give feedback based on this. Well, how are you supposed to give feedback based on this? Well, let's go back to this. Okay. You will provide a critique for the work. Respond to the following in your video post. What feedback does your group offer to the writer? So not only you, but what does your group feedback give to this writer who wrote this? What are some common problems in the work based on that? Do any of the critique group rules warrant edits or changes? So maybe we have created a set of rules and we found something in this document which we did not address in the rules and therefore we need to make some changes. Allow your group to be fluid and supportive, yet honest, with your feedback right in the rules. So how you get graded on this is that you have to create a rule, you have to give feedback to this writer, this sample writer right here, okay? Make sure that you explain the common problems of the work. Explain if any of the rules need to be changed so that we can actually address things that were not addressed with our rules. Okay, and make sure you articulate it correctly. That's how you earn your grade on this assignment. And that's how we do discussion 2.2. And then Lastly, for Module 2, is that 
we are going to keep working on the class resources. This is something that we started back in module one. Okay, so again, to get to that, you go to course menu, you go to discussions, and you scroll all the way to the very bottom. Class resources, class resources. This is our wiki. So this is where I had posted the videos, and we can see that people have already posted things. Okay. MLA formatting, semicolons, colons, and dashes. Fantastic. The Oxford comma. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm talking too quickly because I'm getting excited here. All right. So these are the things that we are talking about that we can continue to keep adding as we go. As we learn things throughout this class, we will keep adding to these class resources. Last but not least for module two, didn't I already say that? Probably. But it did say something here in the facilitation notes, which again, you do not see, but I do. It did mention that remind students that they will be spending their draft of their philosophy in module three. They should get started on the assignment. Well, we haven't talked about that. So I'm going to recommend that you go ahead and sneak a peek at module three and take a look at this writing assignment philosophy and coaching on mentoring we will talk about that much more in next week but if you want to get a head start that's where you would go ahead and read up on that but this week i want you to focus really primarily on the events for module two because that is what this is about all right so I hope that this has been a helpful video. I'm glad that I was able to create videos. And again, you can turn on the closed captioning on YouTube and you will be able to read the words that are coming out of my mouth. All right. Have a good day.